top the evening tea, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have an Echo 7310. It's completely bone stock. It's uh, doing okay. I repurposed my grind on that chain. We have some Carlton full skip. This is a light heavy Samora 30 inch. So like 101 drivers, I think they run. Um, and I'm helping my friend Scott out and we have the fence right there. And we have this dead white fur, essentially. And so uh, it, there's some big limbs up there and these limbs have a lot of snow load toughness. You can see the snow everywhere around here still. And so they get feet of snow in this area. And the only way that I could figure out how to try to get this thing on the ground without wrecking the fence, which there's no guarantees that's not happening, is pile drive this fur into that pine right there and then start chunking the fur down. That's, that's the only thing I could think of. So I got the okay. We might end up knocking down some of the fence. I don't know, but this is how we're going to try to do this.
I said these limbs are super freaking tough in here like I said these limbs are really strong resilient tough they get pounded with a lot of snow you can see it barely even moved like I said we got it stuck in that one I was able to take one salami slice off I thought I was gonna have to take several and I put a little wedge of the face little mini Dutchman if you will to try to help with the process. God was smiling on us and um, not on the fence. I think Scott's happy with the process. I'm wishing I had a zip saw in this application, but it is what it is. We're getting a little bit of time on this saw in stock form for some comparison testing. So thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth.